Cable 7 and 103.7 WTIB present Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. News, sports, and community information and everything that's going on around town. Now, with Talk of the Town, here's your host, Henry Hinton. Okay, welcome back. Hour two of Talk of the Town. We're live on location this morning. We are live at Krispy Kreme. It is one of our favorite spots to be. We always love coming to Krispy Kreme, don't we, McGee? Because Absolutely. Because we get to see everybody in the community. And this morning uh, is a special morning. It's our annual Crime Stoppers Radiothon for the Pitt Greenville Crime Stoppers. And we've got uh, a deal for you this morning. Bring us a check for Crime Stoppers, and we'll give you one of these coupons where if you buy a dozen donuts, you get a dozen for free. So you can walk out of here with a free dozen donuts and a Crime Stoppers donation. This morning, we've already had great uh, donations this morning. You can come by and give it to us live here at the uh, store, Krispy Kreme, or you can call the radio studio, our regular studio lines. We have people back at the office uh, taking pledges at 561-8255, 561-8255. Please call and give us a, uh, a, a pledge. You do not even have to write your check today. You can, uh, you can send it uh, later, and we'll just take all your pledge information. Kip Gaskins, our friend from the Pitt County Sheriff's Department, it has been the coordinator for Pitt Greenville Crime Stoppers for many, many, many years, and he's here at Krispy Kreme this morning. Morning, Kip. How Good are morning, you? Good morning, Henry. Good to see you. It's a big day. You guys uh, actually have to have people respond today uh, because uh, without the, the, the money that is donated to Crime Stoppers, it just doesn't exist. That's right. And I think I was thinking about it this morning on the way to drive here. and I've seen a lot of places throughout the state in the last couple of years with Crime Stoppers program. I don't want to be doom and gloom right to begin with, but I'm just going to tell you the facts. The facts is a lot of organizations are having to shut down um, throughout the state because of funding. And those communities are seeing a, a increase in crime because the Crime Stoppers not there anymore. I think a lot of times the public sees Crime Stoppers as we've been around so long. So yeah. we kind of well, they're always going to be here. Right, so, right. You they know, don't need help. They're going to be here. Law enforcement's always going to come through, and law enforcement is going to always do their job. But Crime Stoppers is a valuable tool, just like anything else that we use in law enforcement to help solve crimes. And if you haven't been touched by crime, uh, and I hope you never do, but those victims who have, and we've been able to solve their cases, um, I just wish everybody could talk to them people. Well, we had a minister killed in his home here in Greenville a couple years ago. Crime Stoppers uh, caught that guy. They did. We had the, uh, the, we always talk about the Hustle Mart murders. And uh, Hustle Mart, of course, um, there were, I believe, three or four people killed. Yes, there was uh, three, yeah, three people. Three, three people killed there, and, and Crime Stoppers solved that crime. But there are a lot of smaller ones that we never hear about. And so uh, it's, it's very important for people to, uh, to, to do that. I see some of my friends bringing them checks right now. That's a good thing. Yep. Uh, so it, it really is uh, something that uh, everybody can do, you know, when we're all frustrated about crime and say, well, you know, wish something could be done. Here's something everybody can do. You can write a $25 check. Sure. Uh, you can write a $10 check. Uh, businesses, come down here. Bring us a check this morning. Uh, we've had businesses showing up with $300 checks this morning. It doesn't have to be 300 It can be 50 It can be 100 whatever you feel like you can do. But we need help with Crime Stoppers, uh, Kip. I just wish that everybody knew um, about a lot of cases we can't talk about. I mean, that's one bad thing about our organization. I um, mean, because a lot of these cases are going to trial, and I can't get on TV and talk about everything that Crime Stoppers did with that case until after the, after the trial because, uh, you know, we don't want – uh, to mess up the case. So, yeah. But I wish everybody just knew everything that I knew about these cases and how it's, how it's brought closure to so many people here in Pitt County where their yeah. loved ones have been a victim of crime. Yeah. Thank you for what you do, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kip Gaskins, the uh, coordinator for Crime Stopper. Let me get some of the, let's get some of the donors in here. Uh, this lady just showed up with a check for $100 from her personal checking account. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite people in Pitt County right here. I've been friends with her for a long, long time. Susan Nobles. Give me a hug. Come here. How are you? Good to see you. Susan Nobles and her husband, Dalton Nobles, have just written a check. Susan just showed up with a check for $100. Susan Nobles. Hey. How about that? You know, we've got Thank you, Susan. We've got to support our law enforcement officers. And Crime Stoppers is great. And I'm making, we're making this contribution in honor of two people, Scott Shook and also one of our very dear friends, Doug Jackson, who is a former police officer, 
worked with Crime Stoppers and is also. I think Doug was the original Crime Stoppers yeah. uh, coordinator, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Mayor Jackson. Mayor. Now the, the mayor, mayor of Winterville. Of Winterville. Winterville. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Oh. All right, and uh, uh, everybody knows Susan, but in case you don't, Susan, longtime administrator at Pitt Community College. What is your official title? Uh, Vice President for Institutional Advancement. And um, in case you didn't know this, I just found this out. Susan Nobles has just been awarded the, what is it, Shook? Tell me exactly what it is. The top staff person of the year for the, the whole community. The top system. staff person of the year for the entire state of North Carolina Community College system. Mm -hmm. I did thank not you. know that. Thank you. How about that? Well, that, that's well deserved. Well, thank you. I'm Jim. surprised you hadn't won that before. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to work with community colleges. We've got outstanding services. We just had a wonderful graduation two nights ago. I was just telling Scott, uh, we graduated 95 nurses, but we also had uh, about 1,400 grads and 700 of them cross that graduation stage uh, Wednesday night. So, wow, it was fabulous. It really was. And one of them was... Um was oh, the was daughter? Paramore. Yeah, it was the daughter of Will Paramore, Will and Ann Paramore. Will, of course, is one of our co-workers at Interbanks Media. I saw. And her he was so proud. The stage. He was so proud. There, Ann and, uh, and and Will was so proud of the daughter. Hey, you know, you were mentioning her degree, uh, gaming and, and yes. simulation. Yes. That's used not just in video games, but also in simulations like healthcare simulations, training simulations, and. Um, military simulation. Is that right? Absolutely. It's fabulous. That is good. That is good. I'm, I was trying to, uh, I'm going to get in trouble. All right, I'm not even going to go there. Okay, I, let's I not can't, get I in can't trouble. Find, I, fi I couldn't find what I was looking for. Well, thank you, All right, Henry. listen, thank Happy you, Susan. Friday. Thank you for writing the check. Everybody, thank you for writing support the check. Crime Stoppers. Did, did, did Press bring us a check? Get over here, Press. Get over here, and then we'll get Beth on. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Press McFall, the ECU golf coach, is here. Hey, Press. Hey, Henry. You have an envelope there. Did you bring Crop Stoppers a little money this morning? Yes, sir. You are the man. Absolutely. You are the man. Did you get your coupon? I did. To All right, good. Another. You may. Yes, sure. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you can. <laughs> Just don't let Amanda know. <laughs> All right, Press McFall, thank you for doing that, man. You got it. It's thank very you. nice of you to do that. Press is the golf coach at ECU. Don't leave. Oh. I got more stuff to talk All about. Right. Because it's interesting, McGee, uh, so Press, of course, coached Harold Varner, yep, who uh, who is now a professional golfer and played uh, last weekend. I don't, is he? Is he? He's this week. He's shot seventy one yesterday. So he's doing good. He is doing well. He's in about twenty fifth, something like that. So is he gonna make the cut? We'll uh, another good cut. round today. He will. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So you coached Harold Varner, I, and and I walked with Harold. You walked with him the whole round mm -hmm. on Thursday. I walked with him the last two holes. And he bogeyed both. Of, he, had, right. he, he hit his tee shot in the woods on both holes. And Thank, I'm goodness like, I'm him him <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't pick him up. Thank goodness you didn't pick him up earlier. <laughs> but uh, he did not make the cut in Wilmington. But uh, I just thought that, that, you know, you've been to more of these things than I have. But it looks to me like Wilmington did themselves uh, pretty proud on that thing last weekend. They may, if they ever have a shot at getting a regular tour event, it looks to me like they've put themselves in position to do it. They hit a home run, man. Yeah. That was, you know, I think expectations were high for it, but the golf course was beautiful. Unbelievable, wasn't it? And logistically, everything seemed to run really smoothly. The field was really good. Mm -hmm. um, I love the way they did the driving range where you could walk up literally right behind right them behind the golfers and watch them tee and off yeah, yeah. it was a really um it was kind of a for a big crowd it was an intimate setting and i thought they did a great job with it yeah uh, i did too yeah i did too so um you coached harold varner um did you did you see in him what is happening did you see him going on to be on the pga tour like he is well you you never a hundred percent sure that anybody will because you know there's 1700 people playing football on Sundays and there's about 150 meaningful tour cards and right and Phil Mickelson's 46 and Jim Furyk's 46 <laughs> and VJ Singh was playing down there and he's 52 you know so guys don't age out yeah, they very let, fast they last longer in golf there's not many spots and guys don't age out so it's a hard window to get through so you're never certain anybody will but Harold you know had great power he had a nose for the hole he just kind of knew how to get the ball in the hole when he got on the greens and he's got the best attitude of any player i've ever coached he sees he's a great everything guy, as he? an opportunity he processes success and failure all through the lens of how do i use this to get better 
um, it's mm -hmm. pretty special. And so I knew he had a really good chance, but he's still way ahead of schedule. And yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you get rid of a shank? <laughs> That's what but I really want to for a golf lesson. Take up tennis. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. I think it may be too late for that. For you should me. charge for these tips, Coach. I yeah. uh, I have developed some some sort of bad thing that I can't. I'm gonna as as uh, as our golf pro Rob Farmer put it to me when he was giving me a lesson on Wednesday. He said, "Your golf game's in a very dark, dark place." <laughs> <laughs> How does that happen? How do you just not be able to play one day? It is odd, isn't it? it? You've seen it happen to other people? Oh, sure. Well, how do they get Absolutely. out of it? I can't get out of it. I'm just having a hard time. Um, they, they, they get out of it by somehow getting back to the simple things that allowed them to do pretty well to begin yeah. with. Usually yeah. thinking more and uh, more cognitive thought over the ball is a negative. And so yeah. somehow getting, being able to simplify it and make the game easy again. Golf tips from Coach McFall there you go. here this morning. All right, thank you, buddy. Good <laughs> to see you. Good to Press see McFall, you. The, uh, thank you for the check for Crime Stoppers. You got it. You're the best. All right, we got to get a break in. Don't, don't anybody leave. we got a lot of people to talk to. <laughs> we got to get a break in. It's 16 minutes after 8. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. We're live at uh, Krispy Kreme this morning. That's what I love about being down here, especially this day every year because people you get just to see come the, in. Absolutely. I'm seeing people yeah. walk in. I haven't had a chance to speak to you yet. Uh, come on down and join us. We're live at Krispy Kreme. It is the annual pick, Greenville Crime Stoppers. Richard Osbrook just texted me and said the phones are too quiet. We do have a phone pledge from Wilbur Johnson, $50 on the phone. Right. Thank you, Wilbur. Appreciate that. Uh, come on and, uh, and be part of it this morning. Uh, this is the annual Crime Stoppers Radiothon at Krispy Kreme on 103.7 and 94.1, and we will be right back. Okay, welcome back. We are live at Krispy Kreme this morning. It's our annual Krispy Kreme Radiothon for Crime Stoppers here on 103.7. Things are beginning to happen, guys. Things are beginning to roll a little bit. I got a couple of, the, um, I got a couple of local law enforcement officers with me now. Uh, Captain Beth Watkins from the ECU Police Department. Good morning, Captain Watkins. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. And uh, over here on my right is Sergeant Dale Mills from Greenville PD. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Good to see you again. Are you guys on the board? Y yes, we are. You guys work on the board. Yes. You're the ECU representative on the board, yes, uh, Captain Watkins. All right, good. All right, I, all right, everybody, can I get your attention? Can I get everybody's attention? I got some uh, phone pledges it. to announce. Got We've got $100 from Philip Horn. Yeah. Thank you, Philip. All right, but listen to this. Jim and Katie Ward have just pledged $1,000. Wow, thank you. Appreciate All right. That. Very good. Jim and Katie do that every year. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. Local business people, and that's what we need. We need the business community to step up. We've had several good checks this morning, including that one from Jim and Katie Ward from the business community. I'm sure that's a personal check from Jim, but Jim, of course, a local successful business guy. Uh, this is a big deal for our community, folks. Everybody needs to chip in. We have businesses that are um, that are that are actually uh, bringing checks by here this morning. If you do that, we'll give you one of these Krispy Kreme coupons. You can get a dozen free glazed this morning. So uh, uh, please participate and help us out. And call the uh, hotline at five six one eight two five 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 six one eight two five five. If you can't come down here, just call that number. We got folks, uh, operators standing by at the radio station to take your pledges right now. So uh, we appreciate that. Right, let me talk to some of these law enforcement folks. Uh, Beth Watkins is uh, ECU PD. And uh, how does, uh, does Crime Stoppers interact with ECU, Beth? Well, basically, we work very closely with Greenville Police Department Sheriff's Office on different cases. Sometimes they may um, occur on campus. Sometimes it may be where they actually, you know, occur out in the city or the county and we actually assist them on different crimes so a lot of times the con a lot of times the joint efforts that we use and stuff um, is very important and stuff that shared information and making sure that we try to get you know whoever the responsible party is the offenders for the crimes so you don't have a special crime stoppers unit or anything like that for campus it's just part of the greater Pitt County no exactly yeah. exactly okay and uh, let me turn to uh, Sergeant Dale Mills from Greenville Police Department uh, Dale, this is a uh, this this is a big deal uh, for the community, is it not? People need to help out. The only way that you guys are able to solve some of these crimes is to get these Crime Stoppers tip. 
Absolutely, Henry. Uh, this is probably the largest collaborate effort that we have in the city as far as working together. A lot of the crimes that we have cross jurisdictional lines, like Captain Watkins was saying a while ago, and this brings it all together. The folks that are maybe sometimes reluctant to tell the information that would be vital to a crime, Crime Stopper steps in, uh, makes a monetary amount to that person, and that often gets us the information we need to prosecute these folks and it brings law enforcement together this is probably the one program the oldest one that we have in Pitt County that brings all of our law enforcement agencies together working together on uh, different topics and uh, solving crime so it's, 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 it's probably the best resource that we have we uh, we actually uh, have had some very high profile crimes solved but, you know, you only hear about the big ones, right? I mean, I know there's one right now on TV where we've got, a, I believe it was a convenience store robbery in, this week. And right. they were asking for Crime Stoppers tips. But and a lot of times you don't hear the outcome of that. And as, a, as a, a, a Deputy Sheriff Gaskins just said a minute ago, sometimes you can't even ever tell the whole story because the case might be hung up in court and you don't want to reveal anything before the thing goes to court and that kind of thing. So, uh, but, but is this like an ongoing thing on a year to year, month to month basis where these crime stoppers tips are coming in and helping you solve crimes? Absolutely. And let's not forget that, you know, you hear about the public hears a lot about the large crimes that we have, but we actually, the crime stoppers helps in our school system. Uh, we, uh, there's money given out to students to give information uh, on uh, violence and things going on in the schools and I think that's often overlooked a lot of our school resource officers use that as a vital tool and it helps the school system in keeping our schools clean and pure all right great well thanks for all you do and um, and, and of course thanks to the people who are donating this morning and I know you want to encourage more of it I, I, I love to hear those phones ring uh, we need those businesses we need the residents this is your community I mean we're here as servants the police department is but this is your community we need your eyes we need in this case uh, some financial contributions to keep our program running uh, you know to keep our city vibrant and crime free yep you make a great point um, you know if if people need to take some ownership of this thing it is it is your community it is and, uh, you guys can only do so much if we don't all help right right I mean, and here's an opportunity to help people like uh, the Greenville Police Department and the ECU Police Department I mean this is our community and uh, we don't often have an opportunity to help when it comes to something like police work but this is the one chance a year that anybody can do something that's 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 right. Uh, you know, uh, I was at a presentation the other night, Henry, and uh, Captain uh, Williams and our investigations bureau captain was giving a presentation, and he made it very clear that we have about 15 to 20 officers out a night, but we have 90,000 other sets of eyes out there. Mm -hmm. So we need the public to help us with information. And like I said, in this case, Crime Stoppers, if you see something, report it, help us out, and we'll determine if it uh, if the information is viable or not. And in this case, we need a little uh, monetary contributions to help our program keep running. It's very important. Make that donation right now. Call 561-8255, 561-8255. Sergeant Dale Mills from uh, EC, I'm from uh, uh, Greenville Police and Captain Beth Watkins from ECU. And I need to congratulate you, Beth, because you just uh, just got your master's degree. I did. And, I did. Uh, and, we, and I didn't know this, uh, Dale, but um, we have a, I don't know if we have a family connection, but <laughs> we have a community connection because you grew up in Gates County. I did. And all my family's from Gates County. Absolutely. So you grew There's up in my, Gatesville? I did, born and raised. Yeah. No, Came uh, here in 91 to go to school ECU. And who, so who was your family? Norman and Diane Harrell. Yeah. yeah, I think we actually, uh, I think I actually may have lived in a house right down the street from yes. where you grew up. <laughs> Probably so. At one time. I lived there. I lived in Gatesville for a short while. Yeah, yeah so. yes. Well, it was great to meet you. All right, thank you. All right, thank you all both for all you're doing. All right, let's get a break in and we'll come back. We'll talk to some more of the uh, Crime Stoppers board members and others as we continue here for uh, the uh, Krispy Kreme uh, remote this morning. We'll be uh, here until 9. You got till 9 o'clock to bring your. Uh, pledge or call it in to 561-8255, 561-8255. We need your help this morning. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. It's Talk of the Town on location this morning, live at Krispy Kreme. And we have uh, donations coming in as we speak. Oh, we got, come over here. We've got, we've got several uh, donations for uh, Crime Stoppers. Sit down right here. Sit down right here to, to announce. And look at this. Uh, Eastern Orthodontics and Pediatrics Dentistry, wow. Dr. Jasper and Lee Lewis, $1,000. All right. That's awesome. 
and 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 they they had a uh, they had a courier this morning from the office. Yes, good morning. Who are you? Good morning. I'm Beth. Beth, Beth good Young. to see you. Well, God bless you. Good to see you. Will Henry. you please give? Uh, will you go back and give Jasper Lewis a kiss on the lips for me? Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll bring donuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll get your coupon there. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, you get to buy. You get to buy one. Get one free. A dozen donuts. You got again another example of what Jasper and Lee Lewis do in this community. I mean, Jasper is a great community citizen. I believe he did this last year. Uh, he, he's done it in the past. So that's a thousand dollars for Crime Stoppers. And we appreciate you bringing it down. Will you, you go back and tell everybody there that we appreciate this very much? Yes, and thank you for all you do for the community yeah, as well. Absolutely. Good to see you again. All right, Eastern Orthodontics and Pediatrics Dentistry, our friend Dr. Jasper Lewis, $1,000 pledge. I got other pledges That's here. That's awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, Meridian Park Apartments, $500. Right. Yes. Jim Talton, our friend uh, from Financially Speaking, uh, I believe his official uh, business title is Professional Planning. Uh, Jim and June Taunton just gave us $100. Uh, Thomas Rouse from Scott and Stringfellow, $100. All right, it's rolling now, baby. It's rolling. All right, we mentioned earlier uh, the $1,000 pledge from Jim and Katie Ward. Uh, we've got another pledge here from uh, we got an actual cash donation. It was in the Carolina Mini Storage for $20. And, um, of course, we gave a, a $300 earlier this morning from our company, Interbanks Media. Uh, Chris Godley gave $300. We've had individual donations from Press McFall, the golf coach at ECU, Wilbur Johnston, one of our friends that uh, 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 works in the school system. I think actually, uh, I think Silky actually has retired, hadn't he? Is Silky still coaching? Is he still uh, working? He was a school psychologist, Wilbur Johnston. We call him Silky. We play golf with him because his golf swing was so silky smooth. Maybe he can help. You think he can help my golf game? No, I don't think even silky could help me. My, go my golf swing is anything but silky right now. All right, did I miss anybody? Let's see. I got the mini storage. All right, more coming. So please help us out, 561-8255 on the phone, or bring the pledges here live to uh, Krispy Kreme this morning. I uh, love these pledges rolling in now. All right, 833. Let's check some news headlines. McGee, you want All to? All right, we can do it. Uh, Trent McGee is here this morning. Mark Gentner had the morning off with some things going on at the TV station. So uh, here's Trent with our local WITN news update. What you All got? All right, thanks. And coming your way at 34 past the hour. New information this morning about a man charged with murder in a town where a pregnant mother of four was murdered five days ago. Police have not confirmed or police have not confirmed they made an arrest in that woman's case, but a man arrested for murder shares the same last name as the woman the victim had been living with. Robert Holly, 32 years of age, was booked into the Washington County Jail in Plymouth just before 9 p.m. Thursday night. Holly is charged with murder and being held on a $1.5 million bond. So we'll continue, uh, WITM will continue to update you with more information on that story. Newburn police are looking for a male suspect who tried to break into a hotel ATM early Friday morning. Police say they got a call about an attempted armed robbery that had happened inside the Bridgepoint Hotel and Marina on Howell Road in Newburn. According to police, a black male carrying a handgun entered the hotel and attempted to break into an ATM. No shots were fired uh, in this uh, matter. Police were called to the scene, and authorities say they're looking for the suspect who fled in a white Nissan Altima with a missing right front hubcap. A school system in the east has a new superintendent at a special board of education meeting Thursday night. The Carteret County Public School System selected Matt Bottoms as the next superintendent. Bottoms will replace or will begin July 1st of this year and will take over for Dr. Dan Novi, who will head to ECU as an assistant professor. On Thursday night, the Greenville City Council voted to move forward with the Charles Boulevard housing project. They decided to, uh, unanimously to allow for student housing projects near the Fire Tower Road intersection. Dozens of people spoke against the project. The council has developed a student housing commission to better determine future housing sites for Greenville. And the tourism business continues to be a bright spot for North Carolina, with 2016 being a record-setting year. Last year, North Carolina had ranked, raked in $22.9 billion from visitor spending, up 4% from 2015. 2016 also scored big for the state in the number of jobs the tourism industry supported, with a record-setting $218,000. All right, very good. Thank you, Trent McGee. Mm -hmm. 836, live at Krispy Kreme during our Crime Stoppers Radiothon this morning. We have not checked our boating forecast for the weekend, and it's time to do that. Of course, our boating forecast is brought to you every Thursday and Friday here on Talk of the Town by Park Boat Company and Mandio Marine, Eastern Carolina's volume dealers that carry new and used sport boats, center consoles, bay boats, dual consoles, 
pontoons, skiffs, deck boats, ski and water uh, board boats, uh, cruisers, and sea doo personal watercraft. And the uh, forecast for the next couple of days on the water today, we've got uh, northeast winds about 10 to 15. And it's going to be a, uh, a moderate chop diminishing to a late uh, afternoon, maybe early evening light chop. So not too bad depending on how late you go out, as long as you can stay away from the uh, rain. Tomorrow, winds are going to pick up 15 to tw to uh, uh, 10 to 15 knots to start the day. It'll actually kick up to about 20 knots in the afternoon, so tomorrow's probably not going to be great. Going to be moderately choppy, increasing to very choppy tomorrow afternoon. And, of course, we got showers in the forecast all day tomorrow. On Sunday, on Mother's Day, we've got northwest winds and a moderate chop uh, 10 to 15 knots, uh, so not bad, depending on where you are. You might be able to find some areas in uh, rivers and sounds that you can uh, take a boat ride with mom on Mother's Day that won't be too choppy. So that's our park boat company, Manio Marine, um, uh, deal there with our boat forecast for the weekend, 837, 23 minutes in front of 9 o'clock. We are live at uh, Krispy Kreme this morning. We've been here since 7, going to be here another 23 minutes. And it's the annual Crime Stoppers Radio Thon. We got Mark Johnson back. Jones. Uh, uh, Jones. Okay. Dr. Mark Jones, who is uh, the chairman this year. Uh, you, this is like your second year as chairman, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah. yeah. How long is your sentence? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to some board members who are <laughs> getting blank stares. It's uh, it, we we every year we elect officers. So uh, Shook, uh, I was vice chair, and then um, Scott Shook abdicated. Yeah, and of course, <laughs> well, that's what I took over as chair yeah, for Scott. Uh, well, you do a great job with Thank it, you. and we appreciate that. Of course, you're a professor, criminal justice at uh, ECU. Is that why you got involved? I was asked, I don't know how many people would know Mike Bostic, uh, who passed away, unfortunately, oh, a couple yeah. years we ago. Mike. Uh, yeah. Mike was uh, a former police officer and at the time was vice chair. And he asked me to join the board. And so you keep showing up, eventually they'll make you an officer. So that's what <laughs> I did. And we lost Mike, what, about five years ago? Four or five uh, years ago? I'm not ago? sure how long, but um, went way too soon, though. I know that. But. Yeah. And, uh, of course, the... Um, the the uh, the golf tournament a week from Monday is named in Mike's honor. It's right, the Mike Bostic right. Crime Stoppers Golf Tournament. All right, we've had some great pledges coming in. You want to read those? We got some sure. new pledges. Now I don't I'm not quite as articulate as you in these matters, Henry, but I'll do my best. Uh, Jerry Barker, DDS Dennis. All right, Jerry. Applause, please. Six hundred dollars. Hey, Jerry. Um, Jerry's a great guy. He's a local dentist. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, and uh, Jerry, thank you so much. He's listening this morning. Gave us six hundred dollars for Crime Stopper. That's awesome. And a uh, traditional supporter of ours, Pitt County Farm Bureau, Bill King, one thousand dollars. So right. extra That's applause awesome. there. That's awesome. Thank you very much. That's awesome. So businesses are helping out, and if you're a business person listening this morning, uh, Dr. Jones, we need we need some help here. Yes, we do. And we have people at the radio station standing by, and as you said, they can come to Krispy Kreme, grab a donut, uh, grab something to eat, grab some coffee, drop off a donation. We'd appreciate anything we can you can do for yeah. us. Why do you uh, spend? You don't have to do this. Why do you spend your time doing that? Because I believe it helps our community. I know that's um, kind of an empty phrase to some people, but um, Crime Stoppers has been instrumental in solving some pretty some some very serious crimes in our community, as well as some that aren't don't make the paper so to speak yeah but i think what we do is important uh we got another pledge here randy parker if i'm not mistaken is um ecu professor of economics yes randy parker thank you dr. Dr. Parker. coming through thank you dr parker you are awesome you you are the man yeah. all right we've got to uh we got to get a break in here but uh i see the first lady of the sheriff's department has showed up does that mean the sheriff's here oh he is walking in the door the high sheriff of pitt county has just arrived I didn't mean you had to. I didn't. I didn't mean you guys had to applaud him. Is he bringing a check? Well, some of you in uniform have to applaud. Yeah, Kip Gaskins has to applaud him. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get a break in. We'll talk to him. We are live at Krispy Kreme this morning. It is our annual radiothon for the Pitt Greenville Crime Stoppers. Uh, a lot of friends down this morning. We're having a good time, and we got some great hot donuts. And you can get some free ones if you make a donation this morning. Take a break. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. We got a huge crowd of folks down at uh, Krispy Kreme this morning, and uh, this is a lot of fun. 
it's always great to do something for the community and to see the community. The community showing up. We got a huge crowd here this morning. We appreciate all the uh, people coming in bringing checks for Crime Stoppers. This is one of my favorite shows that we do every year because I feel like we're really doing some good. And of course, uh, uh, Greenville Pitt County Crime Stoppers does so much good to help keep our community safe. We now have two of my favorite people in Pitt County here. We have the High Sheriff, Sheriff Neil Elks. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Henry. Thank you so much for what you do yeah. for this organization, the Crime Stoppers. We really appreciate it. You know, and it, 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 by, you're the only person that when you entered the room, they actually applauded for you this morning. Well, well <laughs> is it, it makes me feel year? good. No, no well, way. Well, good. It's not even election year. How about well, that? Thank I think you he very brought much. his fan club. Yeah, well, and, me. And, and we got Connie. We got the first lady, Connie Elks, who is uh, Sheriff Elks' beautiful wife, who has been Thank in law you. enforcement in Pitt County forever. Yeah. I met her when she was first with GPD. Now you're with the uh, district attorney's office. That's correct. What I are you am. What are you doing now? I'm a victim advocate slash investigator, yeah. um, and kind of what I do is I follow up contacting witnesses um, for court, re-interviewing. Um, victims, um, kind of making sure that the cases are ready for court and we're getting in our, our cases so much quicker now awesome, and awesome. getting them all disposed of. Uh, we just got a new check. I just I just got handed a check. You ready? Everybody listen. Practicon here in Greenville, $500. Wonderful. That is great. Great job. Great stuff. Thanks to, I'm sure this came from Brad and Bob, maybe Brad Griffin or Bob Griffin. I don't. Did, did they drop it off? I didn't see Brad when he, he must have dropped it off and left. But anyway, uh, thanks to Practicon. That's another great, uh, these guys do a lot for the community as well. Wonderful. And uh, here is a check for $100 from Sheriff and Connie Elks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. So we're up to about $6,000 just mm -hmm. in pledges here this morning. Mm -hmm. Again, you can call. The, uh, you can call the office, uh, call the studios, the radio station, 561-8255. If you can't make it down here, 561-8255 is the number to call, and uh, you will be able to uh, uh, make a pledge over the telephone. We do have people there. And McGee ran off with my phone. Mark, hand me my phone there because I'm getting some pledges by phone, and I don't know unless they text me. But uh, let's talk about uh, what's going on with you, Sheriff. Um, I know that on a uh, annual basis, the Crime Stoppers does a lot to to help with uh, solving crimes. Uh, we talk many, many times about the Hustle Mart murders, which was one Absolutely. of the worst we've seen. And I mean, that might have been the worst murder case in Pitt County history. Since history, I agree. Around. It's been it was yeah. a terrible murder. But you know what? So much information came in on that particular case that uh, contributed, and so many uh, tips came through the Crime Stoppers that uh, actually led us to the apprehension and recovery of uh, the guns, different evidence pieces that we needed to make that case what it was at trial. That case might not have been solved without crime stoppers. Absolutely. Yeah. The next morning we started getting phone calls and it was very encouraging to me that the people were doing the right thing by calling crime stoppers. Nobody had the one piece, but several people called and had the one, the, like putting a, a pizza together. Uh, Everybody had a little piece of information, who was driving the car, where the gun was, where the clothes were burnt, and, and just really made that case come together. And believe me, if it weren't for the Crime Stoppers, that case probably wouldn't be in, in the shape it was in when it went to trial. All right, a couple more pledges here, 561-8255, 561-8255. You can call in your pledge or come by here. Uh, Spence Evans from Old North State Trust, $200. Yes. And, Wonderful. and Benny Hardy from Page and Smith has just called in a pledge from uh, Page and Smith CPAs, our buddy Benny Hardy, who is chairman this year of the Pitt Greenville Chamber, $500. Great. Yeah. Awesome. All awesome. Right. So we got 10 minutes left. Connie, tell people why they need to call and give pledges to Crime Stoppers. You have a great story to tell about that. Actually. I actually do. Um, a couple of weekends ago actually about three weeks ago we had a, um, a terrible murder in in Kinston and we had um, several fights and, and um, horrible events at a couple of the clubs in the county um, nightclub um, one of them was night train another one was US 13 Crime Stoppers was able to help um, law enforcement in Kinston 
make that murder or get the people arrested for that and also the sheriff's office here and Greenville Police Department were able to make arrests because of Crime Stoppers tips from that. So we now have, um, we have safer streets and as part of a community member, we all have to be invested. Law enforcement has no eye in the word law enforcement. It takes a team and Crime Stoppers is a part of that team. You, the citizens, are part of that team. Business owners are part of that team. It takes a team to get criminals off the street. And um, every victim matters. Crime does not discriminate. It has no borders. Farmville, Bethel, Aden, Winneville, everybody um, is valuable. Yeah. Greenville, everybody in the county. And so Crime Stoppers helps even our small towns. Um, and I just want to thank everybody who has been giving. Thank you for what you're doing. There's a victim out there that That's you're right. saving. Perhaps they won't have to be a victim because the law enforcement is able to lock somebody up and get them yeah. off the street. And Henry, thank you guys so much for being out here. You guys are wonderful. We, we love doing this every year. I got another big one, guys. Everybody, listen up. Uh, Joey Bowen from Privateer Tobacco Company in Aiden has just called into the radio station. $1,000. Oh, awesome. All right, thank you, Joey, so much for that. And thanks to all the people who are calling in pledges this morning. We got some more. Here's another one that just came in. Um, got a $25 pledge this morning from Elizabeth uh, Kendrick. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you very Elizabeth. much. Yes. Thank you, thank you. And, of course, everybody who donates this morning gets uh, a buy one, get one free coupon for a dozen donuts from uh, Krispy Kreme this morning. Sheriff, thank you for everything you're doing. Appreciate well, thank it very you. much. And I'd like to say one thing. I listened to the stories coming in today. You know, we talk about the big cases that Crime Stoppers contributes to solving. But, you know, everybody can look at the... Um, car break-ins everybody knows somebody's been a victim of a crime whether it's where you work at or your neighborhood you know the car break-ins that are being solved the home residential break-ins just the large things that are being done in our community so don't think just because you 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 haven't heard that you've been a part of the big crimes that we've talked about we need that information as well on the small cases so that $25 donation today can really help can drive it home it can it may solve your neighbor's break-in it may solve your, your car being broken in, in the parking lot so give us that information give us that call and we appreciate the people that do the right thing, that support law enforcement. We appreciate the people that do the right thing and give us the information when we ask. Oftentimes we go into neighborhoods and we get nothing. We get nothing. And all of a sudden you get that phone call and Kip will give us a call. I got what you need. When we get excited and we go get them. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's, what, that's how it works. And we appreciate uh, people who do that. Appreciate all the people who call in pledges. Got another one here this morning. Uh, we are now at about 7500 bucks. Good job. So uh, let's see if we can get it at least past 8,000 before we get off the air this morning. we got about eight more minutes. Sheriff, thank you much. Very much. Thank uh, you. Connie, Appreciate good you. to see you again. Good to see you also. We've, we've got to get a break in. You guys can go, uh, and we've got to get a break in, and we'll come back and, and clean this up. Uh, call us right now. We've got seven minutes left, 561-8255, or come, to crime, uh, come here uh, to uh, – to Krispy Kreme, or you can text me on my cell phone. I've gotten a lot of texts this morning, gotten some pledges on my cell phone this morning. So if you do that, we've got seven minutes to go, and we will continue here at Krispy Kreme right after this. All right, we're back at uh, Krispy Kreme. It's been a great morning here. I want to say thanks to one of our great sponsors that has been with us for so many years, the Tire Realty Group and Property Management Team. And, of course, they are looking for listings. And if you have not, uh, if you're even thinking about selling your home, you should call the Tire Realty Group, 758-HOME. That's 758-4663. Their website is 99orfree.com because, of course, they will sell your home in 99 days or they'll take no commission. So call Home or Tire today, 758-H-O-M-E uh, or 99orfree.com. Remember, no upfront fees. They sell your home in 99 days, and they don't make you hang on to a long-term contract. If you want to get out, you're out free and clear anytime that you want to be with the Tire Realty Group and Property Management Team. All right, what a great morning. Great crowd here this morning. Thank, give yourselves a hand. Thanks to the... Uh, 
Thanks to the Crime Stoppers board. We've raised about $8,000 here this morning for Crime Stoppers. Thanks to Amanda Tilly, who is here with me now. Amanda has played a part in this because you've been giving away a dozen donuts to people. What, a buy one, get one free. Yep. A dozen this morning for people who've donated. We've had a great crowd this we morning. We have had a good crowd. Yeah, it's been a lot great of fun. Calls. Thank you for letting us do this here every year. Absolutely. A lot of fun. We, we appreciate what Crime Stoppers does for the community yeah. and are glad to help out. Absolutely. All right, and you've got a new person that we need. We introduced her last hour. Yep, and I'm excited to introduce our new local relationship marketing manager is Alexis Richardson. Hello. Alexis, what, is a, what does the local relationship marketing manager do? I am head of fundraising, so if anybody would like to make a fundraiser or start a fundraiser with Krispy Kreme, you would just contact me. Um, and donations and sponsorships, they also go through me. So if you guys want, to, want us to sponsor your event, then just give us a call. And what's your phone number? My phone number is 252-717-8349. All right, Krispy Kreme, <laughs> great stuff. Thank you for all the donuts this morning. Yeah. I got my buy one, get one free. I'm taking it back. If the people in the office are listening, I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to mention real fast? No, just to remind folks that this is a great time for fundraising. People are getting ready for summer trips and camps and looking for uniforms for next year, and we've got a great option for to raise the funds to get those. All right, great. Thank you very Thank much, Thank you so Amanda. much. Appreciate Good it. Good to see you. Hang in there. Uh, Alexis, let Mark slip in for just a quick second. Okay. Uh, Dr. Jones wants to come back on. Mark Jones, who is the chairman of Pitt Greenville Crime Stoppers. we got about 30 seconds. We've had a great morning. It's been a lot of fun. We appreciate you letting us be a part of this. It has been a lot of fun, and thank you very much, and thank Krispy Kreme for all this. And one more shout-out, if I may, because they, they, kind of the unsung heroes in the um, – fight against crime is probation parole here in Pitt County and they have reps on our board too so we want to give a shout out to them as well all right great thank you, thank you uh, Mark for and the board give yourselves a hand guys great job this morning thanks to everyone thanks to everyone who donated this morning uh, it's been very successful as always thanks if you called in thanks to the people back at the station manning the phones thanks to our staff including coach Carr back there and Michael and Mark here and thank you, Amanda. Good to see you. Absolutely. Good to All see right, you. everyone, enjoy Mother's Day weekend. We will see you back in the studio on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody.